Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, the weather is not very good for flying today. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through how to increase your production value of your FPV videos or vlogs. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So um, as you probably know, my production value isn't really that good on some of my FPV videos. Uh, it's kind of grainy and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing all these tips with you that I figured out. Uh, and we're going to be comparing and seeing if there's a difference in some of my flying and what my videos look like. So the first tip that I'm going to be doing is I would suggest just upgrading your editing software. So for me, I was using iMovie and I was kind of stretching the limits of what it could do. And I'm now uh, I'm upgrading to DaVinci Resolve which is also a free editing software like iMovie, but it has way more options and it has really good color grading, which is good for FPV. So that kind of takes two things off the list um, that really increase your production value. The second thing and one that's like really important is gonna be your GoPro settings. So the GoPros come with like a bunch of auto settings that really aren't very good for FPV. They're not bad for normal action camera stuff, but for FPV, we have a lot of movement uh, and things like that. So you definitely are gonna wanna change your settings. So let's hop over and I'll show you my settings and what all of them do and just how to change them. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have um, connected up to my GoPro on the GoPro app. Uh, I would suggest doing this. It's really, it makes it easier to uh, do these settings. So basically what you're gonna do is once you're in here, you're gonna go down to the bottom where it says settings. So press that. Uh, and then once you're in that, these are all your settings that you have for your video. So first off, for resolution, I'm going 2.7K, 30 frames per second. This should get um, the best FPV video and the best quality for your video. You can go 1080p, but if you want it to show up good in YouTube, you should uh, do 2.7K. And definitely make sure to set super view, um, because the bigger field of view you have on your FPV camera, the less dizzying it makes the video. And then turn vis video stabilization off. Uh, we don't need to worry about the spot meter. Uh, and then after that, you're, you want to turn on ProTune and then in here is all the settings that um, makes your video especially better. So leave the white balance to auto and put your color to flat. So originally it's on GoPro color and this um, adds a lot of color to the image. But what we want to do is actually put it on flat color because um, this allows us to get more resolution and quality of the little details in our video. And then we can just add the color grading after. Um, so keep the shutter speed to auto and then for ISO You're going to want to set it to the lowest it can go. So mine's at 100 for the ISO max um, And that's important because we're usually in a lot of bright sunlight and that decreases the sunlight that you see and then sharpness put that down to medium because the GoPro um, like makes everything super sharp and overexposes So that's basically everything you want to do um so yeah, next tip. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna be doing is uh, increasing the uh, tune of my quad. So basically, I've had stock Betaflight uh, PIDs for all the time I've been flying, and I feel like if I uh, get a better tune of my quad, I'll definitely increase some of that prop wash that I've seen in some of my older videos. Uh, and I'll just uh, help my flying in general. So basically the lazy approach to go at this and what I'm gonna do is you can actually just go on to uh, online and search up like uh, Ladrib's PIDs, Mr. Steele's PIDs, any like trusted pilot that you know has really refined their PIDs um, and made them good. And you can uh, just test them on your quad, fly around, and um, like one of those pilots' pits will definitely work decent for your quad. None of them will be exactly for your quad, but um, it should be better than the stock Betaflight pits 
Um, and that's basically just what I'm gonna do. Those are the three things that I'm gonna do just to try to increase my production value and in the future just have a more professionally looking quality of my videos. The sun just got out. That means it's time to fly. Let's go. that one hurt uh, lost our signal but either way I think that was a really good test and thing to do um, I feel like in the end it was definitely worth it and to me the footage looked much better than I've seen some of my footage look in the past so uh, comment what you guys thought below um, or any other video ideas and I'll see you guys in the next video bye